So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex one here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my Phantasm Spiral deck profile for the June 12, 2017 ban list. This has to be one of the most highly requested deck profile ever since the ban list has dropped, and in my personal opinion, guys, this deck has to be one of the best underrated sleeper decks in today's format. You guys all wanted to see this deck profile, and you guys all know that I would deliver. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys smashed this video with a huge thumbs up, 500 plus likes for more deck profile files for a new upcoming format that would be absolutely amazing guys and stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos I feel like this deck actually has a high potential against today's format because of cards like the fuel spell and also the trap card that's able to help you pop and disrupt a lot of plays which is very very powerful and especially with cards like heat wave running around this deck can become very very powerful by having its own built-in win condition and a huge shout out goes to my boy Kevin for actually introducing me to the deck and also Hanko for actually helping me with some of the card choices uh, for this deck profile so, and throughout testing I believe that this is the best version of the deck so if you guys have any other card choices that you guys definitely want to change out uh, to fit into your own play style make sure you guys go ahead and do that by the way guys if you guys are interested in supporting the channel my dinosaur playmat is still available so if you guys are interested in purchasing one make sure you guys message me on my Facebook page that'll be absolutely amazing with the monsters you guys want to play double phantasm spiral dragon this card is one of the biggest boss monsters in the deck this card can be easily tutored out with the spiral phantasm spell cards which is very very powerful the reason why you don't play three copies of this card is because you don't want to clog with this card in your opening hand and also this card is able to be tutored out off uh, your graveyard hand or deck so as long as you have this card in your graveyard you can tutor out this card as many times by using the spell card effect so I felt like three copies is definitely not necessary to play in this deck so double phantom spiral dragon next you want to play triple uh, dragoons of draconia this card is very very powerful it is a beast warrior which is searchable out of the tanky and it has an amazing pendulum effect where once per turn you have a normal monster you control destroys an opponent monster by battle after damage calculation you can add one level four or higher normal monster directly from your deck to your hand. So, so this card gives you the, the ability to potentially plus in your deck, which is really awesome. It's a Beast Warrior, which is searchable off the 10 key. And you are playing the Demise version, which I believe is the one of the better versions uh, of this deck. You're either playing the Pot of Desire version or you know, you're playing the Demise version. I believe that the Demise version allows you to plus so much of just drawing three cards which is really really powerful and the you know little amount of monsters that you play in the deck and also the you know amount of traps and spell cards you play in the deck you want to see those uh, you know trap cards and spell cards as much as possible so the demise version is just really really powerful and another reason why dragoons of the draconia is really good under card of the demise is that it's a pendulum so what you can do is that if you draw this card off uh, you know card of the demise you don't even have to discard this card during the end phase you can essentially just activate this card in your pendulum scale so that you play in the deck is a uh, triple gene warp werewolf and last but not least you want to play uh, D1 Maxi to round off your monsters. So that's pretty much it for the monsters. Next off for the spell, you want to play Triple Pacifist, the Phantasm City. This card is hands down the best card in the deck. If you guys don't know what this card effect is, that this card's name is always treated as Yumi. You cannot normal summon or special summon effect monsters to turn you activate either of this card's effect. Even this card leaves the field. Once per turn, if you normal summon or special summon exactly one normal monster and no other cards, add one Phantasm Spiral card directly from your deck into your hand. And the thing that you always want to search search off uh, pacifist most of the time is phantasm spiral battle which is the best trap card. If your opponent activates a card or effect except during the damage step you, and you control no tokens, you can special one Phantasm Spiral token, Worm Type Water, level 8 attack, 2000 and 2000 defense. So basically, what you do uh, with Pacifist is that, for example, if you just open up with Pacifist, you can activate Pacifist, set your back rolls, and just pass. During your opponent's turn, if you activate a card or effect, you basically get a special summon a token to your side of the field. And once the token is special summoned, Pacifist's first effect will get to activate to search any Phantasm Spiral card directly from your deck to your hand, which is really powerful. So it's a two-in-one effect, so that's why this card is just really good. This card is the hardest soul of the deck, and if people are trying to look uh, into beating this deck, you definitely just want to kill the Pacifist. Uh, if you kill Pacifist, this deck literally slows down by a bunch, and you want to see this card in the opening hand as quickly as possible because this card is your heart and soul of the deck. It is essentially similar to you know playing ABCs and Union Hanger. Union Hanger is the heart and soul of ABCs. It's like the same thing with Pacifist. So this card you want you want to see in your opening hand as much as possible. So really powerful. Next off, the search of Pacifist, uh, triple terraforming. You're able to play your win condition, triple heat wave. Uh, heat wave is really powerful. For those of you who do not know what heat wave does, is that this card can only be activated at the start of main phase one. So as soon as you hit main phase one, boom, activate heat wave. Neither player can normal summon or special summon an effect monster until your next draw phase. So once you activate this card in this card's resolve, your opponent cannot do anything for the turn. It's like literally a stun. Like, you know, like, like, 
It's literally like a cold wave. If you're playing, you're playing against Zoo, they can't Zoo combo. Really, really powerful. One of the best cards in today's meta right now. Let's go off to your Phantasm spell cards. You want to play Double Phantasm uh, Spiral Grip. If you guys know what this card is, that you basically equip it to a normal monster. When the equipped monster destroys an opponent monster by battle, you can special one Phantasm Spiral Dragon directly from your hand deck or graveyard and equip this card, then inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Not only does this card inflict a thousand damage to your opponent, but once the equipped monster destroys an opponent monster by battle, directly get a special summon a Spiral Dragon directly from your hand deck or graveyard, which is really powerful, so that way that you can apply more pressure on the board with the Spiral Dragon that you tutored out off the spell card, which is really good. So, one uh, Phantasm Spiral Wave. The first time the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle each turn it is not destroyed so it is essentially a dragonic diagram for uh phantasm which is really good at the end of the battle phase if the equipped monster battle you can special one phantasm spiral dragon directly from your deck hand or graveyard then your opponent discards one card from their hand which is really really good so this card is able to nuke out a card from your opponent's hand and also to draw a spiral dragon and last but not least you want to play the phantasm spiral crash card is really powerful as well equipped to a normal monster if the equipped monster attacks a defense position it does piercing damage and when the monster inflicts battle damage you basically get a special mini phantasm spiral from your hand deck or graveyard which is really really good and this is why pacifist is so strong is because pacifist is able to search out any of your phantasm spiral uh equip cards directly from your deck to your hand and once these phantasm equip spell cards uh activate their effect especially in the spiral dragon you basically get to activate pacifist effect to search any phantasm spiral with spiral trap card directly from your deck to your hand if you haven't activated its effect already go off to your draw power you're going to play triple card of the mice you play a very low monster count and you want to see your heat waves pacifist uh terraforming as quickly as possible so card of the mines basically gets you there and it doesn't really hurt the deck at all if you draw dragoons of draconia you can activate dragoons of draconia in your scales and top decking this card for example to draw three cards can just potentially win the game next off you're gonna play triple pod duality this card is really powerful basically helps you dig deeper into your deck to see cards terraforming and also pacifist and it helps you basically add consistency to see your field spell as quickly as possible next off you play double fire formation tanky searches up your dragoons of draconia and also your gene warp werewolf which is really good and last but not least, you want to play the one right Gaki uh, for the massive board wipes and double unexpected die. Opening up unexpected die with the field spell is just really good. All right, guys, started with the traps. For the traps, you guys are going to play triple phantasm spiral battle. This card is the best trap card in the deck. It is essentially a infinity break for phantasms, which is really good. If all monsters you control are normal monsters, target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. If you guys don't remember that pacifist is always considered as a Yumi, it says in the first line of the effect. And basically what Phantasm Spiral Battle says is that if you control an Umi on the field, you can activate this card directly from your hand. So you don't even have to essentially set cards at all. You can just activate this card from your hand if you have pacifist face up on the field, which is really powerful. This card for the fact that it's able to just disrupt a lot of combo plays and things like that, disrupt plays during mid combos that your opponent tries to do. Uh, you know, clear up back row, clear up the, you know, problematic monsters. It's just really, really amazing. And that's why this deck is just so powerful. The fact that you have access to, you know, a built-in infernity break and also having access to heat wave to basically stun your opponent is very, very strong. So, Fandom Spiral Battle is the best trap card in the deck. So, triple Phantasm Spiral Battle. Next off for the other Phantasm trap cards you play in the deck is double Phantasm Spiral Power. I believe that this card is really powerful. I'm debating whether or not to actually bump this card up to three. This card is a forbidden chalice for the deck. If all monsters you control are normal monsters, target one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn, it loses a thousand attack and defense, and also it has it has its effect negated. If you use on the field, you basically get to activate this card from your hand. So essentially, if you have passive on the field, you usually keep these cards in your hand so that way that your opponent does not cause a cycle on them or twin twister them. And also, a secondary effect in the graveyard is really powerful is because you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one normal monster you control. Equip one phantasm spiral, equip spell card from your hand or graveyard to that normal monster so that's really powerful because if you have a spiral equipped spell card in the graveyard and you have this engrave you're always going to have an equipped spell to equip to a uh, normal monster so i believe that this engine is just really powerful and it's one of the best supporting engines for the deck is you're playing paleozoics so you want to play triple paleozoic oleanoids and triple paleozoic canadia these are the only paleozoics that you play in the deck and these are you know very powerful paleozoics one you're going to be activating trap cards so if you have these cards in your graveyard they're essentially free uh, you know normal monster that you can actually summon from the graveyard so that way that you can trigger off your pacifist which is really good the reason why the paleozoics in here is one it has an amazing effect and it's really versatile in this deck canadia books a moon your opponent's monster and also oleanoids destroys a spell and trap card which is really powerful 
And also, once you activate the Phantasms, uh, Trap Cards directly from your hand, you're able to activate these cards in your Grave Rat to chain onto the Trap Cards to basically special them in itself from the Grave Rat so that way that you have a, essentially a free 1200 beater on the board. Once these cards are special summoned from the Grave Rat, they are normal monsters, okay? And if one exactly normal monster is special summoned or normal summoned, this triggers off Pacifist's effect to basically get you to search any Spiral uh, Spawn Trap Card directly from your hand. You have these five Phantasms Trap Cards to disrupt plays with the Paleozoic Canadia, giving you a total of eight disruption against your opponent's deck. And also having access to Totally Awesome is just not bad at all. So uh, you don't play any other Paleo than D6 in the deck because, you know, if you don't play Dynamiscus, there's no point of playing it because uh, you have fi uh, Phantasm Spiral Battle, which is essentially your Dynamiscus the deck. So. Next off, Double Quake and Mirror Force, really powerful. Uh, triggers off uh, the spell card that inflicts piercing damage, which is really good. Uh, one Skill Drain. Uh, one solemn warning and uh, double champions of vigilance. This card is really powerful. If you control a face at level seven or higher normal monster, when a monster would be summoned or a spawn trap card is activated, negate the summon or activation and destroy that card. So you guys are wondering, Sam, how do you have a level seven uh, or higher normal monster on the field? Okay. One, you have Phantasm Spiral Dragon on the field, which Champions Vigilance can activate, which is really strong. And also, you have Pacifist. Pacifist tokens, monsters, are level 8 tokens. So once you have the level 8 tokens and Champions Vigilance, you essentially have a Psalm Judgment to negate anything that your opponent tries to do for an absolutely no cost. As long as you have the token on the field, you bet you're able to activate Champions Vigilance. And uh, this card is just really powerful for that. It just works well in this deck. Really so, old school cards are Photon Shockwave. I recently went to pick up this card, and this card actually jumped up in price, uh, which is really, really funny. That's pretty much it for the trap cards. Let's go off and share your extra deck. For the extra deck, literally the best extra deck monster is Gemini Pro because uh, it works under Pacifist. One Castel, uh, one Kira Korgon, you also play uh, the one Abyss Dweller, uh, one Diamond Dire Wolf for removal. You also play the Paleozoic Engine, you know, the totally awesome Paleozoic Ophibania, and of course the Animal Crisis. Uh, the one Ragna Zero, the Utopia uh, Engine, Tornado Dragon, uh, Broadbow, and also the Dryden. And the reason why you play these cards right here is because, uh, you know, you're all playing Beast Warrior, so you have access to Broadbow. So, you know, you can basically overlay your two normal monsters to basically go into Broadbow. Broadbow gets to search uh, your, your another normal monster, and then you can overlay for a Dryden, which can disrupt a lot of plays during your opponent's turn, which is really, really powerful. And last but not least, you guys want to play the one Digusto Emerald to round off for extra deck. Digusto Emerald is really good because it, it recycles all your monsters directly back to your deck. But the fact that it's able to recycle and special summon a normal monster from your graveyard is just really powerful. So you can activate Digusto Emerald's effect to attach an X-Season material to special summon a Phantasm Spiral Dragon from your graveyard. Alright guys, side deck is always up to personal preference, but this is what I have so far to showcase you guys, to give you guys an idea of what you guys are playing in your side deck. So, one Imperial Order, uh, Triple Master Restrict uh, for uh, True Dracos, uh, Triple Dimensional Barrier to play against, you know, Zodiac, which is really good. Uh, Double Dark Hole, Board Clearance is really important in today's meta games. Um, Flying Seas and also Ash Blossoms, really good going second against uh, Zodiacs. And last but not least, for the back row removal, you play the double Cosmic Cyclones to run off your side deck. Okay guys, so let's go with the recap of the deck profile. This is a 50 card version of the Phantasm Spiral deck. I believe that the 50 card version is definitely way more viable than the 40 card version. For the fact that you're able to play, you know, more draw power, such as cards like Pod Duality, and also such cards like Card of the Mind, which is really powerful in today's format. You also have access to cards like Heat Wave, is in one of your win conditions of the deck. And these Phantasm Trap cards are able to be activated in your hand while you can show the passives on the field, just really good. And fact, Phantasm Spiral Battle is really powerful, and also the other Phantasm Trap is really good as well for the fact that it's able to interrupt a lot of your opponent's plays, and these card effects are not once per turn effects, so you can activate them multiple times if you have multiple copies of the card in your hand. And also you have cards in the deck such as Paleozoic, which gives you access to Totally Awesome, and once you activate the Trap cards, you're able to chain the Paleozoic from your graveyard into the Trap cards, and once the Paleozoic is special summoned, you get a trigger off Fast Faces effect if you haven't triggered it off already. And you know what guys? Overall, let's give you guys an overall price range of this deck. So far, I calculated the price range. The main deck, including everything, cards with cards like Card of the Mines and things like that, the main deck should be a roughly around uh, $245 Canadian, uh, which is pretty expensive for the main deck. And by the way, guys, these are all the card prices in the lowest rarity. Okay, guys, these the price here is for cards in every lowest rarity possible. So that will be $245 Canadian, including cards like Heat Wave and also Card of the Mines to run off your main deck. With the extra deck, the extra deck is going to roughly cost you around $100 leaving this deck total of 345 Canadian dollars and converting it to the US roughly around 261 
uh, US dollar. You guys can definitely cut the cost of this deck by a huge amount by not playing cards like Card of the Mize. You don't have to play Card of the Mize. You can take out Card of the Mize and substitute it for cards like Set Rotation and also uh, cards like uh, Magical Midbreaker Field, which is really good in the deck as well. So you guys don't have to play an extra deck at all. You know, I don't even use the extra deck most of the time. You guys don't have to play Dryden, Broadboat, Holy Awesome. You guys don't have to play any of that. The extra deck is just an extra addition to the deck, which you can have access to. But most of the time, let's be real here, I actually never even go into the extra deck that often. So uh, that's pretty much it for this deck profile, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Sam from Team Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Alright, guys. Peace.